Agassi used to say that a player was only as good as his second serve. So he spent a lot of time working on his second serve. Every day he spent about 20 minutes working on the second serve. But what I remember the most is he hit to the same spot over and over and over again. He would work on the white serve to the back and side, putting a target up on the fence and trying to hit the target back on the fence. Now, when he used to serve also, he positioned himself outside. That's when the people that are old enough to remember Agassi playing, sometimes he would play right from, he would serve right from the corner. Knowing that the returner, the best he could do was hit the ball right to the middle of the court. But he was able to take the angle and serve up high. Now also remember, at that time, there were players with one hand. Like Boris Becker used to have one hand, uh, Edberg used to have one hand, Sampras used to have one hand. So he knew that if he attacked him with that high ball to the back end, the guys couldn't return that serve. So that's where he spent so much time on the kick on the second serve. I told him that second serve is more of a clay court serve. Making sure he had a back end grip, tossing the ball behind him and hitting it up on the ball. Again, the key with the second serve is a back and grip, a good strong back and grip, and tossing the ball behind. And from there, they're hitting up on the ball. So when the ball kicks, he has to kick up and to the right. Okay, last one. All right, again, I got his philosophy. A player is as good as his second serve. So he spent a lot of time, you know, good back and grip, Tossing the ball behind, hitting up on the ball, making sure that the ball kick, and every time it kick, it kick to the right. Every time, from here, making sure the ball kick, and right high to the fence. Remember, a lot of the players at that time were one-hand players, so it was easy to attack the back end, because it's very difficult to control the ball or to have any power with one hand from up here. Sampras was a very consistent player. He did the same workout every day. Pete was very well known for his serve. Every time he was in trouble, he would come out with an ace. Sometimes in the score, he was down low 40, and he would come out with three aces. Now, he had a very different philosophy than Agassi. He used to think that you only should have one first serve. He used to say that in basketball, if you miss a free throw, they didn't give you a second chance. If you miss a putt, they didn't give you a second chance. In tennis, it's the only sport where they give you two chances. So he used to think that the only way to win was with a first serve. He had two first serves. Again, very philo different philosophy than Agassi. Agassi used to think you are as good as your second serve. Sampras, same age, same period of time, both number one in, in the world, with very different philosophy. He used to think that you only needed one first serve, and those, that's all he practiced. At the end of the day, every day at the end of the day, around 7 o'clock at night, he used to go to the same court, court number two indoors. He would put a ball right in the corner. He would put a ball right here in the corner. And he will aim at that ball for 20 minutes every day. Every day he will do the same shot. He didn't try to go down the line. He didn't try to work the second serve. He didn't try to go white. His serve was the white serve to the forehand. He used to feel that is his weapon. And he used to work on that shot a lot. So we're going to show how Lucas now is going to try to do the same thing. Lucas, very young, he has the same philosophy. He wants to have two serves, two first serves. So we're going to work on the high, hard, slight serve, white to the forehand side. Come on, three more. Just like that. There's a ball in front. Beautiful. By Pete Sampras serving to the same spot every day, every day for two years, he served to the same spot. He developed not only the consistency, but also the confidence. He knew that every time he was down, Anytime he needed a serve, he had it, because he worked on it every single day. And again, I want to repeat again the difference. He thought that you needed one first serve. He only had one first serve. He served the first serve and the second serve the same. Kenny Shikori was one of my favorite players to work with. Very good athlete, very, very fast, a lot of fun to work with. Now, one of the things that we work a lot with Kay, especially at the beginning, was the throw in motion because he had a very poor throw in motion on the serve. So we started first with a small ball, a small football, and then we went to a bigger football. The whole idea was when he threw the ball that he was able to get the spiral on the ball. 
started with a short motion from here and then all the way back and forward. Again, the serve is a throw in motion. It's a throw in motion. And Katie didn't have a good throw in motion. So we spent years working on that throw in motion. A little bit. One more. Ready? One more. All right. So at the beginning, we used to go right like from the T to the T very short. But it took years. And then after the third year, fourth year, <clears throat> he was throwing the ball from one side of the court to the other side of the court with a very good spiral. Again, the best way to develop that throw in motion is with a football. Because the football, you are forced to use the pronation to make sure that the ball rotates. This is a very good system also to use on the serve. For, for, because on the serve, from here, it's all a throw in motion. This way is a throw in motion. The best way to develop it is with the football. So we did it as a lot with K, and sometimes even before we serve, for many years, this is how we started with a football. 